This video explains the basic principle of hydrophobic interaction chromatography. There are multiple chromatography techniques employed on relying on the size, affinity, solubility, ionic charge, and surface hydrophobicity of proteins. HIC relies on the surface hydrophobicity of a protein in order to separate them. Do you know how oil and water do not mix? This is because oil is hydrophobic. Hydro means water and phobic means fear. Thus, oil is water-fearing. Likewise, hydrophilic means water-loving. A hydrophobic substance will not interact with a hydrophilic substance. So this is how HIC works. The materials needed for HIC are the column, the stationary phase which is a ligand attached to a matrix, a mobile phase which are various buffers, the sample containing the protein you wish to elute, pipettes and collection tubes. A buffer is a solution that is able to resist pH changes. The matrix are beads while the ligands are hydrophobic molecules. Proteins have hydrophobic patches and each protein has various degrees of hydrophobicity. The varying degrees of hydrophobicity can be used to separate them. The beads which are attached to the ligands are packed into the column. The sample containing the protein of interest is added into the column. An aqueous buffer is then added. As salts are absent, water molecules surround hydrophobic molecules such as hydrophobic patches on proteins and the ligand. The hydrophobic patches are not exposed as it is shielded, so the protein cannot interact with the ligand. Ammonium sulfate is added to increase the salt concentration in the column. The ammonium sulfate salt draws water molecules towards itself, exposing the hydrophobic areas on both the protein and the matrix. Since the hydrophobic areas are exposed, they will then interact by binding to each other. The more hydrophobic a protein is, the tighter the interaction with the matrix. A washing buffer is then used to wash out the unbound proteins, weakly bound proteins, and the ammonium sulfate salt. A low salt elution buffer is added to the column, causing the bound proteins to detach and be eluted. The run-through is collected in the collection tube and this is the protein of interest. 